Well, this is going to be a big week in Washington on this issue. There are a growing number of Republicans now calling for the resignation of Attorney General Eric Holder. He is scheduled to testify this week before the Senate Judiciary Committee on the botched gun running sting, Fast and Furious. What do you think the lawmakers will ask? What do they want to hear? And can Eric Holder change the minds of those who say it is time for him to go? One of those congressmen joining us now, Republican Blake Farenthold of Texas, who has already called for Holder's resignation. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. Can he change your mind? You know, I want to see some responsibility taken. Right now, it's just been duck and dodge, and the buck does not stop here. Say he admits, as he has, that the program was definitely flawed and against Justice Department policy. It happened, and, and say he says, I really didn't know enough to make the change at the time. Is that forthright enough? Is that what you and the other members want to hear in order to let him continue whatever work he has ahead? Well, really, it is all about taking responsibility. We're not out to get anybody. What we're out to do is make sure that something like this botched operation doesn't happen again. And until, you've met, until you admit you've done something wrong, you don't go trying to change or fix anything. But, Congressman, at least one life was lost of a Border Patrol agent. Whether or not there's an admission or, or an acceptance of participation by Eric Holder, this turned out to be a deadly and very faulty operation. Why now listen, shouldn't there, there's you, no you push further not only then for him making a statement, but also maybe stepping aside? Well, you know, I've already called for uh, Mr. Holder's resignation. He, he either, if he didn't know about this, he's incompetent, and if he did know about it, he lied to Congress. Neither one of those is acceptable. But we have got a situation in Washington, D.C., in the Justice Department in particular, and on up, where nobody's willing to take responsibility for anything. That's not the way to govern. You know, everyone's going to make mistakes. This was a horrible mistake. At least take responsibility for it and then take what's coming to you. If that's the protocol in situations like this, what does it say then about other elected officials, including yourself? If you make a mistake, can you argue to your constituents, I made a mistake, but let me continue to do what I'm doing? You don't need to make a change. Listen, the history of scandals in Washington, D.C., almost every time it's the cover-up that gets you. The American people understand nobody's perfect, but what they don't understand are people lying to cover it up. There are at least 35 Republicans that are arguing in favor of Eric Holder leaving his post. What's the position of the Democrats and why do you think that they haven't spoken out about this in the way that you are? You know, I think we've actually seen a level of bipartisanship on the Government Oversight and Reform Committee realizing that this is absolutely not the way we need to be running investigations. We don't let run across the border into uh, Mexico, a country that we are friends with. Now, at some point, politics plays a role in it, and you end up defending the people on your side. But we really are seeing a bipartisan uh, disgust at the way this has been handled. Just for clarity and a sense of responsibility, did you or other other members of Congress know about this program to even close to the extent you do now at the beginning when it was first put into place before harm was done in particular to the border agent who died? You know, I'm a freshman congressman, so I wasn't around to know a lot about what was going on. We've been investigating in the Government Oversight and Reform Committee uh, early on, but w I certainly didn't know anything about it before uh, Agent Terry's death. But it's your committee's responsibility to find out if others did. Have you learned anything? That's what we're working on. You know, we've uh, just got on Monday a whole bunch of documents from the Justice Department. We've, we've pulled them out uh, of the Justice Department kicking and screaming. You know, first round, everything was redacted. We're really pushing hard to get an appropriate level of cooperation. You know, you, you got to tell the truth, you got to own up to your mistakes, and we've got to make sure the mistakes don't happen again. Thank you so much, sir. Great to have you on this morning.